Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is the second model of crashing the network. In the previous video, we have seen crashing the network with two critical paths. In this video, we are going to see crashing the network with single critical path along with the total float calculation. In the next video, we are going to see the third model that is uh, crashing the network with single, double and triple critical paths in a single problem. The links will be available in the description box. Now let's get into the video. See the problem crashing the network. The following table gives data on normal time and cost and crash time and cost for a project. The indirect cost of the project is 100 rupees per day. Okay. With this information, they are asking us to draw the network and identify the critical path. Number two, what is the normal project duration and associated cost? Okay. And the third one, find out total float for each activity. And the last one, crash the relevant activities systematically and determine the optimum project time and cost. Okay. The information are activity 1 to 2. 2 to 3, 2 to 5, 2 to 4, 3 to 5, 5 to 6 and 4 to 6. Okay, these are the various activities and normal time in days and normal cost in rupees and then crash time in days and crash cost in rupees they have given. Okay, now we are going to do each and every calculation separately. Let's see the first one that is drawing the network and identifying the critical path. Let's see the solution. See, based on the information given in the problem, we have drawn network diagram. Okay. For detailed video about how to draw network diagram, check my CPM and PERT videos. The links are available in the description box. See here, node 1 to 2. This is the first activity. Duration is 6. Next one, 2 to 3. Duration is 5. Then 2 to 5. Duration is 6. Then 2 to 4. Duration is 7. And then 3 to 5, duration is 10. And then 5 to 6, duration is 5. And then 4 to 6, duration is 4. Okay. Now, the next step is we need to calculate earliest start and latest completion time for each and every node. Okay. So, this information is required in order to find out the total float. Now, let's see the calculation. See, here we have two squares. Okay. The lower square represent earliest start. Okay. The upper square represent latest completion time. So, we need to calculate earliest start time and latest completion time for each and every node. Okay. For that, first we need to calculate earliest start. For earliest start, we need to do forward pass. Okay. When we have more than one option, in that case, we have to select the maximum duration. First, let us calculate earliest start time. Then we will see latest completion time. Okay. See, for the first node, earliest start time is 0. Okay. For the next node, just add the duration along with the previous early start time. Okay. So, 0 plus 6, 6. Next, node 3. Okay. 6 plus 5. Duration is 5. No. 6 plus 5. 11. Next, node 4. The previous one is 2, no. So, what is the earliest start time? 6. So, 6 plus duration 7, 13. Next, node 5. Okay. So, here we have two options, right? That is from 3 to 5. The next one, 2 to 5. In this case, we have to select the maximum duration. Okay. See, for this one, 11 plus 10, 21. The second option, 6 plus 6, 12, which is the maximum, this is the maximum duration, okay. For forward pass, we need to select the maximum duration, okay. So, I am going to select this one, 11 plus 10, 21. The next one is the last node, okay. Again, for the last node, we have two options, number 1, 5 to 6, the next one, 4 to 6. Again, we have to select the maximum one, okay. First, let us see the first option. 21 plus 5, 26. Second one, 13 plus 4, 17. Which is the maximum duration? The first option. 21 plus 5, 26. That's all. So, this is the way to calculate earliest start time for each and every node. Now, we need to calculate latest completion time. For that, 
we need to apply backward pass in that case if you have more than one option we need to select the minimum one instead of maximum we need to select minimum duration okay for that we need to start from the last node okay so this is the last node no so enter the same duration as a latest completion time 26 okay now the previous one is 5 so 26 minus 5 we need to subtract for latest completion time so previously we have added now the duration to find out the earliest start for the completion time we need to subtract the duration okay so 26 minus 5 21 the next one node 4 okay so 26 minus 4 22 the next one node 3 okay 21 minus 10 11 the next one node 2 for node 2 here we have three options okay the first option is 3 to 2 the next one is 5 to 2 the next one 4 to Two. In this case, we need to select the minimum duration. Okay, let's see which one is minimum. 11 minus 5, 6. Second option, 21 minus 6, 15. The next option, 22 minus 7, 15. Which one is minimum duration? So, this path is minimum duration. Okay, so 11 minus 5, 6. So, we have to select minimum duration for backward pass. That is for latest completion time. The last one, 6 minus 6, 0. That's all. So, this is the way to calculate earliest start and latest completion time. Now, we'll move on to next step, finding the critical path. Here, three possibilities are there from starting node to ending node. Okay. See the first possibility, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 5 and 5 to 6. What is the duration? 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 26 days okay this is the project completion time and the second possibility is 1 to 2 1 to 2 2 to 5 and 5 to 6 the duration is 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 5 17 17 days the third possibility is 1 to 2 2 to 4 and 4 to 6 duration is 6 plus 7 plus 4 so, total 17 days. Okay. So, out of these three possibilities, uh, which one is longest path? The highest duration is 26 days. Okay. So, this is the, the first option is the critical path. Okay. So, critical path means longest path which required highest number of days to complete the project. Okay. So, we have identified the critical path that is 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 5 and 5 to 6. The total project completion time is 26 days. Okay. See the problem. We have done the first part. That is, uh, we have drawn the network and identified the critical path. What is the second one? What is a normal project duration and associated cost? Now, let's see the calculation. See the solution. The next one is normal project duration. Okay. So, what is the critical path duration? 26 days. No. So, that is the normal project completion time. 26 days and the second one is associated cost for the normal project completion time. So, total cost is equal to direct normal cost plus indirect cost. Okay, for that see the problem. Here they have given normal cost for each and every activities. Okay, see what is the total cost? Normal cost amount 6000. Okay, this is the normal direct cost and the second one is a indirect cost also given in the problem how much the indirect cost of the project is 100 rupees per day how many days is required to complete the project normally 26 days no so 100 into 26 2600 is the indirect cost okay see the calculation total cost is equal to direct cost plus indirect cost direct cost is nothing but normal cost okay how much as per the information given in the problem 6000 no plus indirect cost 100 rupees per day how many days it will take to complete the project 26 days so 100 into 26 days 2600 total 8600 okay so normal project completion duration 26 and associated cost how much 
8600. Okay. See the problem. We have calculated normal project duration and associated cost. That is the total cost. Okay. The next calculation is uh, find out total float for each activity. Let's see the calculation of total float. Now let's see the calculation of total float for each activity. Okay. See the table. The first one activity which is given in the problem and this is the normal duration. This is also given in the problem. Okay. With this we are going to proceed further. The first one is uh, we have to calculate the starting time. In that we have two columns. The first one earliest start. Next one latest start. Okay. The next one is completion time. Again we have two columns. One is earliest completion and the next one latest completion. So after finding these things finally we can calculate total float. Okay. So this is the formula to find out total float. That is uh, latest completion time minus earliest completion time. The difference between these two is called total float. Okay. See the network diagram. Already we have calculated earliest start and latest completion time for each and every node. Okay. So based on this we are going to enter these figures in the table to find out the total float. Okay. See the table. In order to record earliest start and latest completion time. Okay. Just see the activities. The left hand side is called head node. And right hand side is called tail node. Okay. For the first one, earliest start. For the first activity, this is the head. One, next two, next two, next two, next three, next five, next four. So you have to enter the earliest start time from these activities. See the network diagram. The earliest start time is for the first one, zero. Second one, six. Again, second one, six. Again, second one, six. Next third 11, then fifth one 21 and fourth one 13. Okay, this is the earliest start time for these activities. Okay, so we have entered earliest start time for these activities. Okay, next in the same way we are going to record latest completion time for tail node. Okay, for the first activity tail node is 2, next 3, next 5, next 4, again 5, 6. 6. Okay. See the network diagram. The latest completion time for node 2. 6, 3, 11, 5, 21, 4, 22, 5, 21, 6, 26, again 6, 26. Okay. This is the latest completion time. See the table. We have recorded earliest start time. And latest completion time. Okay. Now we need to enter latest start time and earliest completion time. Okay. For that this is the formula. Latest start time is equal to latest completion minus duration. Whereas earliest completion time is equal to earliest start plus duration. Okay. We are going to simply apply this formula to find out latest start time and earliest completion time. Let's see the calculation. For latest start, earliest completion is 6. 6 minus duration 6, 0. Next, 11 minus 5, 6. Next, earliest completion. So, what is the formula? Earliest start plus duration. Okay, 0 plus 6, 6. 6 plus 5, 11. Okay. After finding these things, the last one is total float. So, this is the formula now. Latest completion time minus earliest completion time. The difference between these two is called total float. See, 6 minus 6, 0. 11 minus 11, 0. 21 minus 12, 9. 22 minus 13, 9. 21 minus 21, 0. 26 minus 26, 0. 26 minus 17, 9. Okay. So, this is the way to calculate total float. Okay. See the problem. So far, we have done three steps. Okay. The first one, we have drawn the network diagram. Identify the critical path. Next, we have calculated normal project duration and associated cost. And then, we have calculated total float for each activity. Okay. Now, we will move on to the last one. That is, crash the relevant activity systematically and determine the optimum project time and cost. Okay. 
See, you can find the continuation of this video, that is second part. Please check the description box to get the link. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.